Here, age long, she has dwelt, an evil thing in spider form. She who was here before Sauron, and before the first stone of Baradur. Shelob the Great, last child of Ungoliant, Ungwitari. The time has come to face her once again. Uh, the face Shelob. Oh, that sounds like it's gonna be fun. They are near. I can smell them. And someone else. The Pale Herald. Be ready. All right, I'll be ready. I have a feeling that I've also had a little something to eat first. So I can give up my energy. There you go. Now we can start. Hmm. Well, what's going to happen here? Down deeper. I mean, it can't be tougher than going up the winding stair, or more like switchback stair, based on how that went, but... Whichever really is, it, uh, I see, ooh, I see, hmm. well, there's the Pale Hero, there's some Bloodless, and, uh, yeah. Silger, I have been waiting for you. You turned your back on the path of your people, but Mom Merguid still calls to you. You should not speak with her enemies. My people have abandoned me. I cannot hear her call. What choice do I have? The rangers will help me to find a new life. Poor misguided Filgu. Gondor will never help you. They fear what they do not understand. You will be cast out as soon as you're no longer useful to them. Hmm. Yeah, I had a feeling he'll come up with something like that. Allow me to free you from your doubts, Filger. With your help, Uratari will be unleashed. Return to the fold and find Ma Magweed. Uh, he, he just killed one of your friends. Oh, I can hear her again! Mom Merguid! Uh-oh. Find her, Filger! Go! Uh. Well, this doesn't sound like it's going to be great for... Oh, I, I better hurry up along. Follow them quickly. Run, run, run. Do I think I can get... They're, they're running quickly. I should have... Uh, that's a tunnel up there. A dark tunnel. Oh, that's Torek Ungol, the cave of the spider. Oh, this does not look like it's going to be fun. Now, this place most definitely looks nasty. Mom Morgred! Uh-oh, I hear him. Well, uh, that's full of webs. Mom Morgred, I am coming! Uh, you are, aren't you? Are you sure this is a good idea? Well, hey... Being in this place is not a good idea, most definitely. Very definitely not a good idea. I hear you, my Morgred. Oh, well then. Let's see. Ooh, there you go. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Well, let's see. Why is she calling them? Hmm. Oh! Let's try to get out of here. We have come. You Struggle. have called, and Struggle. your people have come. Yeah, and the hobbits are stuck. 
Ah, he turned into himself a spider again. How about that? He's got his gold skills back. Uh, uh, uh <clears throat> that's a big spider. That's a really big spider. I'm running. I'm running. Run away. Run away. Yeah, let's get out of this place. That's the biggest spider I've ever seen. And considering some of the spiders I've seen... Uh -oh. Let's get out of here. I'm not looking back. Who knows what's going to be back there. I know. One big huge spider. That's what's going to be back there. And it must be the Shelob they keep on talking about. Hmm. That's... Turn here. I hope I'm going the right way. Uh oh. No! No! Oh, hold on. What's going on here? Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. Uh, thank you, Caliborn. You only delay my plans, Lord of Elves. Take your champion and go. I'm a warden, not a champion. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> All right. Whee! Let's go. Thanks for the light. Yeah, thanks for the light. I'm out of here. That was not a fun place. You saw her. You saw Ungutari. I can uh, see the dread in your eyes, but fear not. <laughs> fear not? In the presence yeah. of Lord Caliborn. All right, we're safe because we're in the presence of Lord Caliborn. All right. Yeah. Tell me what happened. Do you really want to know? That was not fun. You must tell me everything, Pine Leaf. Uh huh. So. I believe his plan was to use Thilgur and yourself to lure Shelob out. He knew you would try to run, and perhaps she would follow you out of Torq Ungol into the Morgul Vale. But he could not have anticipated Celeborn's appearance. Yes, I believe it is Rukor's aim to rouse Sheila from her underground lair so she may devour all in her path, his enemies and his rivals. As ever, this all distills down to the former servants of the Dark Lord squabbling for control of his fading empire. I'm surprised Celeborn is here. Hmm. I figured he would be with... Elrond and his granddaughter and all oh, his wedding party and all. It has been some time since my last encounter with Unguatare. Time has only made her more dangerous, more ravenous. Oh, fun! You said, "Oh, she was bad. Now she's worse. Wonderful." Her wound has only increased her aggression and inflamed her hatred. We must do what we can to contain her and the Gurzul Rukar. I do nothing. To do nothing is to allow calamity. Right. And what are we, or more likely I, supposed to do? Beneath these mountains, there are many sprawling tunnels carved by Uguatari and her brood. If we come across any small exits, we should close them to pen the spiders in. The, ge the Gileglar will block the larger passages. The, the gil oh, Gilglar, yes, block small passages. And? When first I found Shelob hiding among these mountains, I was able to restrain her within Torq Ungol with the Gilgalire, glasses filled with the light of Arendelle. I suspected that Sauron destroyed them when he came to Mordor in the Second Age. It must be true, 
as the broken glasses remain inside. Now that he is gone, we must restrain Ungutari and her children. This is the first step to finally defeating the Spider Queen. Take the Gilgalar and replace the ones that Sauron destroyed. Alright, so I'm supposed to go back in there, close small exits, places like hobbits could escape through, and then put in some light there. Okay, at least the light bit might be helpful. And what do you need me to do, Legolos? Yes, beyond the spiders, it seems that various Grudbig have also responded to the call of Shelob and taken up residence in Torg Ungol. Do not let your guard down. They are also very dangerous in great numbers. Alright, fine, Grudbig. Get care of those great big Grudbig. And wait at it! We'll have to kill some spiders. I know from Frodo's and Sam's accounts, Tork Ungu should be empty, but they f apparently that's no longer the case, as Shelob has recalled all of her children from the wider world. I do not know if she has done this for sustenance, protection, or loneliness. I cannot pretend to fathom the mind of such an ancient and evil being as she. It matters not. The spiders are a threat and must be thin before we enter deeper into the tunnels. Right. Before we enter deeper into the tunnels. Oh, but it's alright for me to enter into the tunnels. <sighs> oh, she love. Little morsel has returned. Uh, oh. Apparently, she was laying a trap by having most of the spiders not present before. Now she's laid out guards, probably. Well... Not th oh, yeah, but there are Grivig here! I didn't see those before! Well... Oh, uh, yeah, uh, when I said Great Big Grid Big, I, I was... I was not kidding. Good grief. Oh. Oh, good. A queen of Grudvig. This isn't going to be fun. Definitely not fun for me. Oh, yeah. Hey, you! Well, at least we got some help here. Uh, 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 uh. Stop silencing me. Good. I suppose this is one of those small passages I'm supposed to plug up. No idea where I got that boulder from. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Something else here? Yeah. Oh. One of the Gilgalar. Let's see if I can repair it. Oh, yes. Some nice light. That'll be a great help here. Yeah, that was a terrible experience. I hope I don't have to go in a third time. Well, I took care of those, um, Greed Big. You did. Excellent work, Pine Leaf. I know not how many more there are, or how deep they live inside. They may be Ungutari's children, but they're unlike the spiders in many ways, and pose different threats. Yeah? Also, yes, you have done well, Pineleaf. Otley will be happy to hear that there are fewer spiders in the world. Alas, there will be many more to slay in the near future. The horde is nigh unending. Wonderful. And I took care of those lights for you. Yes, it's done good. I pray these hold her until we're ready to enter Remnorkant. Remarkant. Sounds like a fun place. So what's next? We will soon need a small force to enter the deep tunnels. Remarkant. The net of darkness. I just hope that isn't a small source, s force of one hobbit. Our efforts will hold the spider horde in Torkungul 
for now. Soon we must pursue Umutari herself. But until then, I ask you and Legolos to return to the Rangers of Athelion and inform them of Rukor's plot. We will soon need a small force to enter into the tunnels. That is where we will meet the Spider Queen. That is where I will end this. I will send for you when the time is right. Oh, goody. Lord Celeborn speaks true. The Rangers must be made aware of what transpired here. Let us return to Moblon as swiftly as we're able. Yes, I couldn't get out of here fast enough. That was quite an ordeal. Wait, wait, hold a moment. Let me see if I have this right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That's all hard to believe. See, Rukor wants to rouse the wounded Sheila from her lair, so she eats everyone and everything, and when she goes back to sleep, he wants to take Mordor for himself. That's a terrible plan! And not only that, but he convinced the Ungoladine to lead him right to her? And he gave Filger back his skin changing. Then that poor fool went after Shelob. She ate him and almost ate you as well, except for Killiborn, the Lord of Lorien himself, stopped in to save you. Uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. What a day, Pineleaf. What a day. I will send for reinforcements at once and move all available scouts to keep watch on Torque Ungo. No one will come or go without our knowledge. When Celeborn is ready to confront Shelob, we will stand with him. All right. Well, I was afraid he was going to say that. Whee! Double wee! Ah! <sighs> Finally found is the nervous ranger. Apparently he's nervous because of that thing. <laughs> that thing makes me nervous too now that I think about it. Hello. Will you I... hear my plight? It startled me. This area is crawling with greed big, and it has me a bit on the edge. Thank you for the supplies, but I may return soon for the sake of my own sanity. Yeah, I'm sorry to be so late in my finding you. It's, it's hard to get up here. Did you know that? Well, you've already been up here, so I guess you know. I wonder if I can take on this thing. Well, there's only one way to find that out. And that is... Attempt it! Forward! Ouch! This is nasty. Uh, this is very nasty. Super nasty. Ouch! No! Ah! That was tough. I know, there's a lot more to go. Woo! A lot more to go. She's going down! Nope. things are all over the place. I better close up that entrance so that none more of these get out. Woo! <sighs> no.
Now, let's seal that up and get out of here. Sorry it took so long, but I finally finished those deliveries. Let us help you bring glad tidings, friend. Thank you, Pine Leaf. I'm sure they were pleased to see a friendly face in that harsh land, especially one bearing fresh rations. Yeah. So a lot of them wanted to get away, I have to tell you that. And I, I took care of that big bug. Will you help bear my burden, friend? Excellent work, Pine Leaf. I knew I could count on one as skilled as you. You are a breath of fresh air in this putrid land. With the quelling of the greed big threat, we can worry about the other creatures present here. For I believe they are more sentient and may prove the graver threat. We will be no doubt be relying on you more when the expedition is over. Be safe out there. Between the heights and the beasts and the venomous things, this is one of the most treacherous places I have ever had the displeasure of visiting. Uh, well, the uh, displeasure is most definitely the right word for any visit to this place. And that takes care of our little time in Kirith Ungle, thankfully, which means next time we are heading into the Dead City in A Tale of Two Pine Leaves.